जननी शारदा देवी राम कृष्ण जगद्गु पाद पद्मे तयो श्रुवा प्रणमा मुहुर्मु Sri Ram Krishna sings that song. You have set up no image here within the shrine or fold, blowing the conch. You may simply make the confusion worse, confounded. Hmm. This story. as i don't think he has given the earlier we have got this story already uh, that one dilapidated in a village a temple has become very old and slowly one by one stones started falling away uh, and then it became such a condition that it was not able to be used somebody took the image away and kept in somebody's house and started worshiping it and the temple remained in dilapidated condition for long it was out of use and people stopped going there they used to worship themselves years passed decades passed nobody everybody has forgotten that temple is there but the elderly people were there they were aware there was a temple once upon a time where every day we used to go and, and do the worship sing this bhajans this that and all now it is no more there suddenly one evening they start hearing the conch being blown conch sound is coming all will be happy who oh, temple has started somebody might have rebuilt the temple people run to see how that uh, from the temple inside this this is, the temple is as it is dilapidated condition they go and see inside a mad boy has got a, uh, uh, he is not sane hmm. he has got a conch and then he is going hiding inside the temple and blowing the conch then they sing this they say, tell this oh you are not installed the uh, image in the temple before that they say you are not clean the temple you are not arranged anything bad sir filled in that every where dirt has fallen there is no image you are not installed the image you are you if you just blow a conch and it will create more confusion for the people uh, but it have it be of no use so with respect to that is telling lecturing before attainment of god lecturing sharing knowledge is different from lecturing lecturing is where i give you knowledge i am in a superior position i know and i am teaching is different i don't know but i have known this much the scriptures what i say what i have heard bhagavad gita is like this in that these stories are there mahabharata is like that in this this is there uh, i have not realized but i know these scriptures are authority i can share with you my guru has taught only this much i could not attain but know this that humility that absence of ego must be there in sharing the knowledge also otherwise it becomes again teaching teaching is different from sharing mm. vijay sat on a raised stool and before that you should first cleanse the shrine of your heart heart must be clean 
no attachments, no aversions, likes and dislikes. Raga, Dvesha are not there within. No attachment to anything, to the enjoyments of the world or to the people or possessions is free. Hmm. Heart is not caught by anything. Then means there are no desires towards the world. Then you should install the deity and arrange worship. Yet nothing has been done. What can you achieve by blowing the conch shell and simply making a loud noise? Vijay sat on a raised stool and conducted the worship according to the rules of the Brahma Samaj. Afterwards, he sat by the master, master to Vijay. Will you tell me one thing? Why do you harp so much on sin? By repeating hundred times, I am a sinner. One verily becomes sinner. One should have such faith as to be able to say, What? I have taken the name of God. How can I be a sinner? God is our friend, father and mother. Tell him, O Lord, I have committed sins, but I won't repeat them. Chant his name and purify your body and mind. Purify your tongue by singing the God's holy name. Hmm. So, here, Sri Ramakrishna, you see, they are Brahma Samaj. They are people who, have, who are a kind of sadhakas with all family responsibilities and duties, earnings, everything. They are devoting. They have an ideal. They have a goal to reach. They have dedicated their life for something other than the normal going of the life scores by sustaining life. For sustenance of life, they need certain things, they earn and live. Even otherwise, either you have to beg or earn. Uh, so you have to live. For living, you, have, you need food and other things. If not anything, a food, clothing and a shelter. This much you have to be able to earn. And to earn this, only for sustaining body, and the body is sustained for realizing God. So these all people who belong to that class, who like um, our um, Kabir says, O oh Lord, give me that much of wealth that I don't go hungry and others who come to my door will not go empty-handed. I don't want more. That day, today's food is available for me. Today somebody comes to my home, I am able to give them something, not send them empty-handed. Somebody comes and asks for something, I must be able to give them that much. So these people are, uh, whatever they earn is for the God's work, for the seva of the people, and little needs of their life. Mm. So such people they are, they are and they are dedicating their life for a higher cause. Sri Ramakrishna loves them. He wants them to fulfill the purpose of life. When you have done so much, uh, keep the right step in the right direction and reach. Mm. So here small things because we are influenced by the uh, people who are around, especially in those days, the other religions, other opinions regarding God, uh, Mata, um, were trying to influence the people of, uh, the original people of the country. So, there was lot of uh, the concept of sin was not there the, and the suffering was not there. Uh, life is an Ananda Swarupa. Uh, Jiva is an Ananda Swarupa. 
is suffering, oh body suffers, mind suffers, doesn't matter. I must live independent of body and mind. That was the concept of the Vedic times. You are Ananda Swarupa. Why are you identifying with body and saying, I have the body pain? Uh, leave that. Let, it, let the body and mind take care of each other. You be in your own bliss. Just like as you are in the deep sleep, how blissful you are. Be in the same way, independent of body in waking state. So this is the Vedanta concept. Then with the Buddhism came, there is suffering. Uh, till then, suffering world was not there, associated with man, human. It's Ananda Surpa, Sachidananda. Uh, so Sachidananda, how he can suffer? Bhagavad Gita begins second, first chapter, that is the beginning. Krishna begins with the sermon. He begins with the uh, Advaiti concept. Uh, you are not at all body. Why are you worrying about war, death, this, that and all? Hmm. Nothing is happening. You are not at all body. Hmm. Why are you identifying with body? From there it begins. Then he gives the Moksha Sannyasa Yoga at the end and in between the vision of God and then Bhakti Yoga. Important ways in which it transcends the whole Bhagavad Gita the ceremony gives. So it begins with the, that was the original understanding of man, his Ananda Swarupa. Slowly Buddhism, it became, oh you are a, a suffering is there. Buddha sees important for sufferings of mankind. Uh, death, old age, he sees a dead body, old age, diseases, uh, and finally sees a man sitting in his own joy. So these four, uh, why there is suffering? How can man get rid of suffering? So by the time Buddhism, Buddhism spread, oh there is uh, suffering, there is suffering, overcome suffering. Uh, somebody asks, is there God? He says, did I say there is God? Then. Is there not God? Did I say there is no God? You have suffering. Get rid of suffering. There is a path. The definite path to get rid of suffering. This suffering was made, highlighted uh, during Buddhism. When Christianity came, the concept of sin came into picture. In original Hinduism, that is, at the Vedic period, Vedic times, Vedic understanding was Ignorance. You don't know your Atman. Try to get rid of that ignorance. Here the sin came into picture. And the sin, even a, everybody by having taken a human birth, they are all sinners. Because original sin, they think of the original sin. Original sin, uh, Adam had done sin and the sin is continuing through every uh, human that is born is born because out of Adam and the original sin is continuing just because you have taken a human body. Swamiji asked this question on this. Before Adam came, he, was, he came from divine. Why are you not taking the divine? Divine is flowing down. Why are you neglecting the divine flowing down? He came from the divine. Adam came from the divine. And the divine you left out, only sin you carried down and gave the sin to all people. Original sin is there, original divinity, still earlier, original divinity is there. Why don't you look at the divinity? And why are you continuing the tradition of sin? That sin aspect Sri Ramakrishna is discussing here. Mm. Uh, Vijay is, uh, they are all, they want to bring about a transformation in the, these Brahma people. They are, they want to bring about a, whatever the other people had complaints and pointing out, uh, idol worship, uh, these things. 
caste system. All these things they pointed out. They want to remove all these things uh, and make a re- new religion which is suitable, which is acceptable to all these people. But it will be far from reality. Religion is realization, satya. So, just to, because others are telling, what is your realization if you want to start a new understanding of God? Intellectual, because people are telling, you want to give up the idol worship. You want to give up so many understanding regarding God. The impersonal absolute is there as a source. Personal, so many manifestations of God are there. How did you think that these things are? Uh, Thakur says, hmm, for Bhakta, God takes the form. And worship in an image is accepted God by God. And he begins the, because of this, Sri Ramakrishna begins his sadhana as a pujari, worshipper. Worshipping, he begins his sadhana. To give validity to the most idol worship. Idol worship was the most uh, uh, people who pointed out as an error. You are worshipping a stone. Hmm. But they forgot. Everything is manifestation of God. All that exists is God. Every object in this world is God. And everything in this world, whatever you see, is an uh, is God. You can worship anything. And they go to the extreme to worship even the people who are ill-famed. Oh, they are also God. This is also God. Uh, children, bad people, good people, nice things of the world. Uh, not only vibhuti, where there is no vibhuti of the world, where vibhuti is covered with dirt, there also they worship. Hmm. So, everything is object of worship. Everything is God. It is manifestation of God. One God formerly there was no world, there is no good and bad, right and wrong. God alone was there. And He, the universe came of God. A thing that comes from good, can it be bad? It can never be. Hmm. So, here we see, uh, because it is a manifestation of God, all that exists is God. And whatever exists is worthy of worship. So, here, the Brahma Samaj is trying to make tremendous transformation. Uh, the first woe they t- take is not to worship an idol, Murti Puja. No, I will not do the Murti Puja, I will not honor the Murti st- images. Of, that is the woe of the Brahma people. And Sri Krishna tells them, no. God does manifest with form. The forms that they are worshipping, God accepts the worship. God has made different paths for different type of people. They belong to different grade, they belong to different uh, standards, they they have different attitudes. God responds to their call. The only thing we need is sincere heart, to call upon God. Whatever way, because a child is not able to tell Papa properly, does father neglect? Any sound the child makes to call father, the father responds. Uh, So, all this transformation. So, here Sri Krishna is taking up an important principle hmm, that whatever you go on thinking of yourself, that is what you are going to become. Uh, go on thinking that you are a good person, you are good. Go on thinking you are a bad person, you are bad. It is mind that creates what I am. So, go on feeding yourself with right understanding. Right understanding, next to right understanding 
is how do you get right understanding? From scriptures and realized souls. Next is the positive suggestions. Hmm. You give positive suggestions. That is at the cross, physical level, mental level, at spiritual level, what scriptures say, what realized souls, souls say. Satya, hmm. right thing, right thing. Uh, here is feeding through mind positive things. Eliminate the negative things. And then you see that you are getting a strength in the will. You are getting inner strength. It is not a cure. It is not curing the disease. It is pacifying the disease to go further. Hmm. Uh, somebody is when in journey, somebody is sick, then we give the medicines till you reach your home and meet a doctor, you can be safe. To that extent, we give. It's called relief medicine. So, relief is given, not cure. Then they will go and show to the doc, proper doctor and they, he will prescribe medicine which is going to cure him, curing the disease. Uh, this is pacifying. So, here Shri, uh, Master is telling Vijay, hmm, will you tell me one thing? Why did you harp so much on sin? Uh, they have read the uh, Bible and heard the religious people again and again uh, confessing. Confession is one of the important part of the Christianity, Christian people life. Uh, make anything you go wrong, you make a sinful act, go and confess. In the name of Christ, you'll be pardoned. So suppose you murder a person and go and confess, I have done for such and such reason. I had to do, there was no alternative. And good or bad, right or wrong, I have done it. I confess. So the one who is in charge of the church, he will, uh, in the name of Christ, I will, that is prayer is offered and then he is assured of having got rid of that sin. So this, uh, they have heard, they have come to know, they have been, he, people are again and again insisting on the, this process. Uh, in uh, our uh, Hinduism also every day what the, uh, after Upanayana and all that, uh, they do the Sandhya Vandana. In Sandhya Vandana there is getting rid of sin. It is whatever I have done, I offer in God the impersonal absolute where all differences dissolve. Satya alone is there. In Satya, hmm, Juhomi, I offer in the truth. I offer in the light, supreme light that erases all things. In light there is no dark, darkness. Hmm. But it's a part of the religious, uh, this one. So, the, even in worship, we have the killing of the Papa Purusha, hmm. Jivanyasa and all that. Bhuta Shuddhi is one of the important part where Papa Purusha, uh, the acquired sinful tendencies working as a person within is destroyed every day by during the worship. Hmm, Bhuta Shuddhi. So there is destruction of the Papa Purusha inside. But these are all processes depending on you are pure, you are eternally perfect. Bring that perfection outside. 
bring their divinity outside. That's what they see. Hmm. So, uh, tell me one thing. Why did you harp so much on sin? By repeating hundred times, I am a sinner, one verily becomes a sinner. This is an important psychological point. That whatever you think of yourself, you become that. Jamon bhav, temni lab. As you think, so it happens. By repeating hundred times, I am a sinner, you verily become sinner. One should have such faith as to be able to say, What? I have taken the name of God. I, how can I be a sinner anymore? I have taken the name of God. The faith in God, God's name. Oh, I might have committed. But I am taking the name of God. He is pervading. These are external things. Just like dirt accumulated on the mirror. It can be washed away. It can be cleaned. Gold is there. It has fallen in the cow dung. So, doesn't matter. We need not discard the gold, nor see the cow dung, go on seeing the cow dung, forgetting the gold. Uh, gold is important. That gold you have to, uh, oh, it is external cover, wash it of course away, nothing to worry. The sin and all that, whatever I do, inside, from inside is coming, inside is pure, pure. I am free from guilt. I am free from, because he doesn't associate himself with the body. The more I am body, I have the sense of good and bad, right and wrong. When I am inside, deeper inside, the ocean, how turbulent it is, ocean, uh, you can't enter into it. Every moment huge waves are coming. Try to go deeper and deeper. You will see no waves. At the depth, nothing, not even a sign of wave existing in the top. Such a silence, such a absolute no motion at all, such a calmness. Like that inside is, oh, this is external dirt. I have done something, but let me not do. Even that stain, let it not be there, even on the body and mind. Mm, That faith, that is, what is that faith? Faith makes you identify with your real existence. Uh, The I am sinner makes you identify with the body. Uh, I am Spirit, the identity of spirit, it drops away. Hmm. It immediately drops away. God is our father and mother. And tell him, oh Lord, I have committed sins, but I won't repeat them. Chant his name and purify your body. Going on repeating the name of God, it is washing down all the dirt, as it was external, it was there in the body, it can, your karma can stain your body and mind, not inside. Inside, a sinner and a saint, they are same from inside. One has washed his body and mind, another has not washed. The one who has not washed his body and mind, we call him sinner or a good man. Uh, here we call him a saint which is beyond good and bad. Hmm. Chant his name, purify your body and mind, purify your tongue by singing the God's holy name. Uh, Sing God's name through the mouth and this tongue, constantly it is involved in the external. Thoughts are taking place. It is tongue repeating the language within. Mm. 
dialogues and monologues will be con- constantly going on within. Uh, it's a walk. Walk in the cross is Shabda. Walk in the circle is thought. So it's coming from within. So purify that walk, your tongue. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tatsat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastur